reasons why you need to stack gold. Let's get to the video. Hey guys, it's Patriotic Stacker, and I'm back with another video for you guys today, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it's been a couple days since I posted a video. It's been about, I don't know, four days. And I'm not counting the stream yesterday with uh, me and Triple P, our Tuesday Night Trash Talk, because we all know that's not a video, that's a stream. So uh, yeah, it's been four days. I've been getting that YouTube itch, I've been missing my subscribers, and I've just been really busy the past couple days, but I'm going to start posting videos daily again um, because I love it. I love doing it. And I'm a relatively new YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube since October of 2021, but I didn't really kick off until about December of 2021. So no time for me to take breaks. If I want to get big, grow this channel, I got to be posting daily content for you guys. And uh, I appreciate your guys' patience, all your subs, um, your comments, your likes, all your support. This is the greatest community in the world. We might have the world's smallest niche, but let me tell you, this community has the biggest heart out of any community in the YouTube universe. But, yeah guys, we are talking about big old G, gold, the beautiful yellow metal, and why everyone should stack gold and the reasons why to stack gold. Now, as you guys all know, I'm a huge gold stacker. I love gold. I love silver too. I love them both. I stack them just as much. This year, I've been leaning more towards gold due to higher premiums on silver. Um, but I've always been a gold stacker. I've always, always, I always usually split it 50-50. I would always buy for every 30 to 50 ounces of silver, I would buy an ounce of gold. Now I'm buying a little more gold than silver, but uh, it's important to diversify your portfolio. It's good to have both metals. And hey, if you stack platinum and palladium, that's good too, or copper. But me, mostly, I stack my gold, I stack my silver. Those are my favorite metals to stack. I do have copper. Um, I have a few pieces of platinum, thanks to Triple P, um, my buddy there. But um, yeah guys, we all stack precious metals mostly for the same reasons, for hedging it against inflation, uh, real wealth, wealth preservation, savings. There's so many reasons, um, but I'm gonna go over them with you guys today. So starting off, number one, gold is a tangible asset. You can hold it. It's in your hand. And it's extremely liquid. Real wealth is something that you have, something that you know that's worth something. It's not just cash that they're promising that it's worth something um, that's backed by a government. Um, gold is like your land, like your house, like things that has real value to it. And that's a big uh, win for me when it comes to uh, gold because it's real wealth. It's worth something rather than a piece of paper backed by the government. And we all know how good our government is and how much truth they speak. So it really makes me feel good to have a lot of gold and hold this beautiful chunk of gold in my hand, knowing that it's an asset. Now, 
Number two, it's a hedge against inflation. It protects your wealth in hard times. So, for example, that $100 10 years ago, five years ago, even a year ago, is worth less now today than it was then. Well, this gold coin is worth more than it was 10 years ago, more than it was five years ago, more than it was a year ago. Like people say, gold, silver, I know uh, my buddy Campbell Coyne says in the 1920s, with an ounce of gold, you can buy a well-made suit. Well, now, that ounce of gold, you can still buy a well-made suit. Now, in 1920s, you know, an ounce of gold was only 20 bucks. Well, if you take that and you kept the cash and didn't have the gold and you took that $20 today, you're lucky if you can walk into Walmart and buy yourself a shirt or a pair of pants with that very same $20. Well, if you kept that, if you had an ounce of gold, you can buy quite a bit of clothes. And it's the same thing with silver. It's a hedge against inf inflation, and it protects your wealth in crappy times. Now, number three. Now, this is a good one, I think. It's a savings account. If you put your money today in the bank, in a savings and you just keep it there, you literally don't get anything back from it. What did they give you? 10 cents per thousand dollars? You literally get nothing back. Chump change, peanuts. So what's the sense of keeping your money in a savings account so the banks can take your the money that's been sitting there, trade it off, put it back, and they make the money when you don't make crap, a couple cents. And on top of that, it goes back to inflation where you lose the buying power of that money. Yeah, if you have 10,000 in the bank, yeah. 10 years from now, if you don't put anything in it, it's still gonna be $10,000 besides the lousy pennies you get from uh, from uh, interest or whatever, um, but that buying power is not there anymore. You know, for example, in the 1960s, you could buy a brand new car, brand new car, for like $2,500. Well, you go buy a brand new car today, you're gonna spend about 50 grand, and eh, about 30 to 50 grand, depending on the car you get. So why don't you just put your money into things that will make you money, things that will protect your money, you know, things that, you know, you can get something back, get some gains to better your future, to better your kid's future, for your future, your retirement. And another great thing about gold is that it's a long-term investment. Now, I know that's a little sore topic for a lot of people in the community. You know, a lot of people don't consider precious metals um, a long-term investment um, or an investment at all in that matter, but I disagree. I do look at it as an investment, but a long-term investment. Not something that you can buy and hold for a couple years or a couple months or 10 years. You know, I'm talking, you know, 20 years, 30 years. You know, for example, you know, you started a career in your 20s and you, open, you have a 401k or a Roth IRA, a retirement account, investment account. You don't just hold that for a couple of years. You pay into that for... You know, 25, 30 years, your career. 
Well, I look at it like gold, you know, when I'm, I'm young, I'm not in my 40s or 50s or 60s, you know, close to retirement or whatever. So, you know, to some people it might not be the best investment. Maybe people just use it for savings uh, or just to protect their wealth. You know, that's another big reason why I stack it. But I also look at it as a long-term investment. Um, gold is always going to continue to go up. Gold and silver. Um, it's never going to go down. We'll have our dips, ups, and lows, and high points, and um, but it's always going to go up. You know, uh, rewind, rewind a hundred years ago, gold again was only twenty dollars, twenty-five dollars an ounce. Gold is now almost two thousand dollars. So it could definitely be an investment. Now, obviously, the price of living goes up. We all know that. But it can definitely be an investment. There are a lot of benefits on stacking this beautiful yellow metal. And that's just a few. But there's also, you can buy this stuff to prep, for prepping. God forbid something happens and, you know, we're in an SHTF situation. Um, you could use this, you know, when it comes time to rebuilding. Um, obviously, there's going to be no currency. So, there's so many, so many, so many great reasons why to stack gold. And... I think everyone should own it. You know, even if you just owned a one tenth of an ounce gold coin, just one, it's good to know that you have some type of gold. You know, diversify. You know, people are buying cryptos, real estate, uh, bonds, all kinds of things. Well, add some gold, add some silver to that. There's nothing wrong with having some beautiful gold to protect your wealth. It's simple. Gold is gold. There's nothing else like it. And it's been a currency. And it's been a metal of wealth for thousands of years. And it will continue to be for more and more and more years. Long after we're dead. Long after our kids are dead, long after our grandkids are dead, it will always be wealth in this beautiful yellow metal. I highly recommend, if you're not stacking gold, stack some gold. Also, you know, some of these gold coins are just beautiful. This is the Mercury Dime. Um, the 100th anniversary Mercury Dime. They did it in a one tenth and in 24 karat gold. And you know, if you guys watch a lot of my videos, you guys know I'm a huge fan on the silver Mercury Dimes. Well, <laughs> I had to get these. These are awesome. But yeah, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really helps me, it helps the community. And hit the like button. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. I really like reading your guys' comments. And uh, are you guys all in for gold? Is gold king? I think it is. Let's put this away. And guys, I will catch you. On the next one. Peace.